When I was in fifth grade, I did my first research paper. I called it Atoms and Molecules, and it was for Mrs. Naz's language arts class. I vaguely remember getting the idea from a book my parents had bought for my brother and me. What intrigued me then, and still overwhelms me now, is not only how small and numerous atoms are, but how permanent. I must have been thinking about atoms a lot in fifth grade. One night, as I lay in bed waiting to fall asleep, I realized something I was sure no one else had thought of before. The world needed to know. Mom! I shrieked. I just thought of something! Are you okay? She said. Yeah, I said. I was just thinking that some atom in my body might have been in a dinosaur once, or a tree or something. She was silent for a moment before she answered. Huh? She said. Let me get Dad. My father, a scientist, appeared at the foot of my bed. Yes, sweetheart, he said. It's quite possible one of your atoms once belonged to a dinosaur. Then he kissed me goodnight and returned to the living room. As I lay in bed, I looked around my dim room. I thought how everything in it was made of atoms that had been somewhere else. Everything was old and recycled, including me. I am still fascinated 22 years later to think that a carbon atom exhaled by a prehistoric dinosaur could be in the wood of this chair, or floating above the North Pole, or in a cell in one of my bones. I still find it fascinating to think that since the Earth was formed, everything that has ever existed here has been made from the same allotment of atoms, only their arrangement has changed.